What's up, guys? Miss Mattel 101 here, and welcome back to MCWA Revived! This is episode 3, and this is our final stop before New Begins 2. And my goodness, what a show we have for you guys tonight! And we're gonna start things off with our opening contest. Well, I thought. But it turns out, Calypso. Dana Calypso, why do you do this to me? Well, it turns out, Calypso decided to bring this debut up early. That's right, the debut of Goro Akechi. There he is, the man of the hour, Goro Akechi. Goro Akechi coming from Persona 5. Yeah, uh, <laughs> same game as Joker, but... Well, Goro Akechi's here, and my goodness, is he looking regal or what? We made the announcement sometime after Episode 2 of MCWA Revived. And, well, Clipso made the announcement, and here he is in the flesh. Garo Akechi looking prepped and ready to speak out, I think. Well, we're gonna hear some words from Garo Akechi. And there he is! Well... Hmm. Well, Goro Akechi calling out the villains of MCWA, and it turns out we're getting our challenger for Goro Akechi in his debut match, and... Beauty Thief? Um... Well... She's technically a villain, I guess? Um... Well... Yeah, I think she's more of a villain. Um... I can't really say for sure, though. Just seems kinda weird for Beauty Thief, of all people, to come out and... challenge Goro Akechi. There's Beauty Thief in the flesh. Beauty Thief appeared in the tournament. She lost in the first round to Lucina. And now we're about to get this matchup underway. Goro Akechi making his debut and Beauty Thief missing the stomp. Goro Akechi claiming to be the hero that- Oh! Huge low blow from the Beauty Thief. Like I was saying, Goro Akechi claiming to be the hero that they need. And now there's a sleeper hold by- No, I think that's actually a Cobra Clutch. Goro Clutch- Cobra Clutch by Goro Akechi. Good grief. A huge right hand by Goro Akechi. Throwing Beauty Thief into the ropes. Oh, missing the kick. Beauty Thief now. Nope. Be Goro Akechi goes behind and again a low blow. Man, it's gonna be a real rough night for Goro Akechi. I'm certain the young man probably has some other people. Whoa! Huge wheel kick from Goro Akechi. Beauty Thief definitely trying to put up a fight and so far she's doing that. Oh, just shoving Goro Akechi away. And now, oh, Goro Akechi again! Able to predict Beauty Thief's motions, and... Whoa! Roll up by the Beauty Thief! Only gets a one. And now, oh! Missing the dropkick. Goro Akechi now with some punches. Missing the right hand. Now, oh! Huge elbow shot by Goro Akechi! Goro Akechi is showing off a little. And now, Goro Akechi... Oh, a huge shot to Beauty Thief's head, and an arm drag for good measure. 
Right now, Goro Akechi's in control over the villainous beauty thief. I cannot take myself seriously when I say that. There's an arm drag by Goro Akechi. And now Akechi looking for the sleeper. Akechi's got the sleeper in tight. And Beauty Thief might be in trouble. No, Beauty Thief gets out of it. And now, oh, drop kicked by the Beauty Thief. And, oh, missing the butt bop. Another arm drag by Goro Akechi. Those arm drags definitely paying tremendous dividends. And now, oh. Beauty Thief missing another butt bop. Oh no. Double air hook. Into the pedigree. Pedigree by Goro Akechi. Very unique offense. One, two. Three. And that's the victory for Goro Akechi. Goro Akechi picking up a huge win in his debut match. The heroic. Goro Akechi has saved the day from the villainous beauty thief. If I'm gonna have to say that every time I see Goro Akechi, I swear things are not gonna go right for me. Anyway, here's a replay of that dastardly pedigree. Ugh! Just gruesome! Driving beauty thief's head into the mat, and that's what gets the job done! One, two, it's not rocket science! Three. It's Hero Actions. Heroic Actions, I guess. Well, that's actually good preparation for our main event tonight, and now we're going to get to our opening contest. This is between Linkle and Waluigi. Before this match was announced, which was admittedly like a few minutes ago, right before this episode aired actually, there was a ban on Wario being at ringside. In fact, I heard he was escorted out of the arena entirely. But you heard Aqua. Not only is Ayano not in the building tonight, but oh! But there's also a tag team match set for our co main event. Tag team match between Aqua and Athena Sykes as they take on the Dazzling Arya Blaze and Sonata Dusk. But right now our focus is on Linkle. And right now, Linkle is looking ready to fight. Linkle is going to take down the Dasui Waluigi. Well, maybe. Here comes Waluigi. Waluigi and Wario took on the Dazzlings in the last episode, but Arya didn't even show up. So it was basically a handicap match, and Sonata was suffering because of it. It took Linkle coming out to save her in order for the assault to stop. Well, I bet the Wario brothers are definitely looking to get some revenge on Linkle. Although, this might be the only time they get that chance to do so. But Waluigi is making his way to the ring now. He's in the ring, and Waluigi looking ready to go for this matchup against Linkle. Admittedly, I would be too, considering what Linkle has done. But then again, at the same time, Linkle is a hero, so she did what she did what anyone else did. Oh, Waluigi trying to go for a kick early. The advantage of Waluigi is those ridiculously long legs. And another kick! And 
Irish whip to the ropes. Oh, huge elbow shot onto Lincoln. And now a snap suplex. Simply got effective. Waduigi now in control. And another kick with Waduigi's long legs. I swear those legs are so long that they're probably as tall as a child. A six-year-old child, to be precise. And now Linko going for the splash. Linko find a way to fight through. Beautiful neck breaker by Linko. Now Linko picking up Waduigi. Linko, a hero. She wants to be the hero of time. And Waduigi, oh god. No! Low blow by Waduigi. And now Waluigi picking up Linko. Oh! Snap suplex. And now, nope, Linko gets out of it. Punch. Huge right hand by Linko. And now Linko, oh. Irish whip into the corner goes Waluigi and our splash. And now Linko drop kick, putting Waluigi in the ropes. Waluigi takes on those ropes. Irish whip again and flapjack. Nice modified flapjack by Linko. Linko is looking pumped. And I would be too. There's a headlock into a Bulldog. And now, Linko going for the cover. The cover oh, now after the two. Bulldog only gets a two. And now, oh, Linko going behind Waduigi and, whoa, roll up by Linko. This could be One, it. Two. two and no. Only gets a two count. Very close. And now, Linko. Oh, clothesline, say Waluigi out of the rain. And now Linko. One. Linko's looking happy with herself. Two. And now Three. Linko diving to the outside Five. with a car wheel Five. and flying over the top. That is incredible Eight. by the future hero of time. Nine. Ten. And now Linko getting in by the count ten. MCWA has a 20 count rule and not a 10 count rule. That is something that I will keep on addressing throughout the entire night, I think. Oh, low blow by Waduigi. And a kick straight to Linko's head. And another kick. Those long legs coming to good use in this matchup. And another punch. Drop kick by Waduigi. And now Waduigi in control. Uh oh. I think Waduigi's gonna be looking for his patent. No. Now Linko, whoa, rolling through again one. with another roll up. Only gets a one. And now Waluigi in trouble. Linko now, Northern Light Suplex with the one. bridge. Two. two and no. Only gets a two count. And now, oh, the kick is blocked. Roll through. And now Linko grabbing Waluigi now for a gut run suplex. The gut run suplex by Linko. And now Linko going up to the top. What is she looking for here? Whatever it is, it might not be good. Oh! Yeah, it wasn't good. Ow! Like drop to the groin. And now Waluigi in control over that mistake Linko made. That's something that Linko needs to be careful of. Linko is technically inexperienced in the ring. Waluigi has experience in other CAW leagues. And the fact that he's been around a lot longer. Oh, close on by Linkle though. And now Linkle. Linkle looks like she's ready to end this. And there's another spiral leg drop. And oh, Waluigi with a low blow. Kick. Oh, the kick is blocked. Linkle pushing him down. Now picking him up. Oh, low blow again. Oh, the kick straight to the head. And now. Crossbody! Too close to the rope. No, it's not! Two. Gets a two. I'm going to question that. That looks really close to the ropes to me. And now Waduigi. Oh! Ozo! And now. Drop kick! Waduigi back in control of this matchup. Waduigi. And now he's begging. He's begging for a timeout. Did he expend it? No, it wasn't all bait. 
Waluigi just using dastardly tactics to get ahead. And now, oh, Linkle going behind again. And now another clothesline by Linkle. Ever get that feeling of deja vu? Whenever I win, then I do. Oh, kick blocked. And now roll through. Now Linkle's, Linkle's got Waluigi up. Legends crossbow. The Legends crossbow by Linkle. Perfectly executed. There's the cover. And I One, think this is good night, two, nurse. Three. Yep. That's the victory for Linkle. And what a win it was. Linkle gained the win over Waluigi. Then again, this was without Wario by his side. I really hate to imagine what it been like otherwise. And there's that Legends crossbow. Perfect. The Legends crossbow perfectly landed. And that is what got the W for Linkle here on this episode of MCW Revived. We're going to head to the backstage area one more time. Well, it's time for tag team action. And we have a huge tag team match for you guys. It is Sunset Shimmer and Lucina taking on Emerald Flash and Zero. We're just getting all the mixed tag matches done. Sunset Shimmer and Lucina, of course, they're going to be fighting each other at New Begins 2. We don't know the details of it, except there's going to be no time limit. Sunset Shimmer and Lucina, of course, went to a time limit draw in the second round of the MCWA World Championship Tournament. And that's how Simon Blackwell immediately got to the finals. Sunset Shimmer and Lucina definitely going to be looking to put up a huge fight against each other come New Begins 2. Right now, they're on the same side. I wonder how that's going to impact their actual thought process going into this match and their upcoming match in New Begins 2. All we know is that to them, there must be a winner. And it seems like the two of them might be on the same page. But then we look at the other tag team, Emerald Flash and Zero. They were also opponents in the MCWA World Championship Tournament. Zero, of course, a semi-finalist in that tournament. And he beat Emerald Flash in the first round. In fact, it was the first match of the entire tournament. Whoa! Pyro! Zero, of course, will lose the end in the semifinals. I wish to address that later on tonight, we are going to be seeing the two participants in the main event of New Begins 2 confront each other under Calypso's guidance. Basically, me and Calypso's gonna be there. But right now, all eyes are set on this tag team matchup. With two teams formed with rivals. As they fight for survival. Well, um, maybe. Anyway. Whoa! Well, this is different for Emerald Flash. Whoa! Sheesh, a lot went into this, didn't it? Um, well, we're just gonna be waiting here, I guess. This is a nice song, though. There's Emerald Flash. Definitely a lot more flashy than I will have hoped. No pun intended. Emerald Flash, he has a lot to prove here in MCWA Revived. Losing in the first round to zero. Not exactly the best way to start. But things might change. Things might look up for Emerald Flash in this tag team match if Lucina and Sunset Shimmer don't happen to be on the same page. But the same question can be asked for Emerald Flash and Zero at the same time. 
Emerald Flash and Zero. As far as I know, I don't think they're on the same side either. They seem to be like a little hostile to each other. Of course, they have two contrasting ideals. Zero just wants to go out and have a good fight. And Emerald Flash saying, Oh, I just want to win. Let's try not to screw this up. That is a bit questionable on my... That's a bit questionable. And it makes me kind of fear that they're not on the same page at all. If they are on the same page, then great. But if they're not, then things are going to be a bit... Things are going to go in a downward spiral for this team. The same can be said with Sunset Shimmer and Lucina. Anyway, this tag team match is underway. And oh! Missing the leg sweep and now going behind. No! Number Flash counters. Sunset Shimmer, I consider a master of human psychology and a master strategist. Knowing exactly what she wants to do in that reign and executes the plan almost flawlessly. Oh, tried going for the back fist. And no. Oh, no. Emerald Flash. Oh, Sunset going behind. German, no. And now, oh, oh. Front flip, face crusher by Emerald Flash. Sunset Shimmer back up. Oh, huge back chop. And now, into a bulldog. Surprisingly, Sunset Shimmer is not working on the legs or the body yet. And oh, well, that happened. Well, I think the feet landed for a cartwheel drop kick. And now, Emerald Flash going up top. Beautiful Hurricane Rana. And now, going for the tag. Tags at zero. Zero going up top himself. And hits a drop kick. I thought he was looking for the Swanton. I mean, that would have been a good combo. Huge back elbow by Zero. Gained a lot of distance, despite not actually moving prior. And now Sunset Shimmer throwing Lucina to the corner. Throwing Zero to Lucina's corner. Sunset tagging in Lucina. And... Oh! Yeah, I guess they are on the same page. Work out. Oh! Huge drop kick by Lucina. There's the cover. One, two. Yeah, it's clear. Sunset and Lucina are on the same page in this tag team match. Working together, forming tandem offense. And now Zero. Oh, Zero just looking for a no. Lucina rolls through the Hurricane Rana. Not even a one count. And, oh, punch. Punch. Nope, zero counters. Zero now. Looking for some kicks. Lands them. And DDT. And now going for the cover. One. This could be it. No, only a one count. Zero in control. Sunset Shimmer ruining on her partner. And Lucia throwing zero to the outside. Look out! Okay, that exactly didn't go as planned for one. Lucina. And now, we're on the outside. Zero has a sleeper Three. hold. Trying to weaken down Lucina. Five. And now, Zero. Six. Zero's throwing seven. Lucina into the rain. By the count of seven. If he wanted to, he could be there a lot longer. Oh, slingshot elbow. Very impressive by Zero. Oh, there's a drop kick. And now, Zero in control. Zero now, step up in Zagiri. Lucina's in trouble. And Zero, I think Zero's looking for the tag. Yes, there's that tag. We have a bit of a ridiculous rule where you have to be standing near the corner to make a tag. Yeah, I know. Revolutionary, right? Now, a lot of these guys just don't seem to get that. Oh, huge German suplex by Emerald Flash. There's the cover. No. Although I don't understand how they don't actually have any ridiculous bands or anything like that. Oh, there's an arm drag. I'll see how they could not make the tag. Whoa! Lucina tried going for... I assume that was the Sakura... I assume that was the S Sakura Special. Or the Ice Cream Somersault. And now... Sunset missed entirely. Someone tells me she was looking for a power slam or something along the lines of that. There's a DDT by Sunset. Remember, Sunset is not the legal person in this match. That would be Lucina. And now Lucina throwing. No, Emerald Flash. Oh, a huge bump. 
Into an inside grill, small package, roll up. Two. And Oli gets a two. Sunset, I think Sunset slightly dazed from that attack. And now Tessa Strength, Emerald Flash wins it. And huge drop kick by Emerald Flash. Emerald to control now. Emerald is a house of fire and tags in zero. That's something which I'm not understanding. When one of them's a house of fire, they intend to tag out. Instead of trying to keep the momentum rolling. That I find questionable. Oh, Crucifix, Splash Mountain! One, by zero! Two. Oh, he gets a two! Splash Mountain is very effective! And now zero in control, no! Lucina gets up! And now into the corner! Tags in Lucina! Oh, Splash! And... Backo will accidentally hit Lucina! Yeah, I think they're starting to fall through! Here's a gut wrench! Lucina and Sunset might be falling through with it when it comes to their teamwork. There's a sleeper hold by Zero. Lucina watching on. You have to give Sunset more credit where it's due. She's resilient. She actually kicked out of the critical foul Jean. And that is a deadly maneuver. Not a lot of people kicked out of that move. And... Whoa! There's a rolling sense on. There's the tag to Emerald Flash. Emerald Flash in the rain now. And Lucina. And now, oh, snap suplex. Emerald Flash now in control. Now just going to pick up Sunset. And now, oh, Irish Whip countered into a tilt -a world backbreaker. Now Sunset's working on that back. And now, Sunset going behind. Elbow to the back of the back. And a backbreaker. Sunset finally focusing on that back. And now there's a Boston Crab. Sunset finally working on what she intends to work on. Finally weakening down an opponent for the Demon's Chains. Some that I've personally been waiting on. And now Sunset, no! Emerald Flash counters! German! German Suplex One, with the beautiful two. bridge! Only gets a two! And now Emerald looking for the... No! Counter! Huge back elbow shot! And now goes to tag Lucina! Lucina's attacks don't work on the back row legs! Unlike... And there's a Suplex! So... Lucia may have a bit of a difficult task actually weakening down Emerald Flash enough for Santa to lock in the Demon's Chains and force the tap. There's a tag and oh a knee drop and what was that? Zero, I guess he just, I guess he has a little thing in his eye but there's a double team, double team dropkick spinebuster combination and now from behind another double team backdrop. Zero now getting the double team offense with Emerald Flash. Finally, they're on the same page. Power slam. And now Zero looking for the moonsault. Nailed it. One. And now, oh, Sunset Shimmer breaking it up. Very smart. Breaking up the pin attempt. And Lucina now back up. And now, oh, nailing the flatliner. The Flatliner landed! Oh, back elbow shot by Sunset! And now Sunset picking up Zero. Sunplex! Now go look for another one, and Lucia setting up! And now Lucina, critical foul shot! Sunset with the assist! There's the one, cover! Two! Three. And that's the victory! Emerald Flash just got up at the worst possible time. Man, unfortunately on his end.
but Lucina and Sunset picking up the win as a team. And New Beginning 2 just being right around the corner. These two allies are going to be rivals once again. There's a, that sun place right before the critical foul, John. And that's what ended it. Lucina and Sunset worked as a team, and the edit paid off. Knowing exactly what to do at the right time. And now these two rivals, they're going to duke it out at New Beginning 2. And quite honestly, I'm looking forward to this second encounter. It will probably be 10 times better than the first. Well, strong words from Lucina. Lucina openly stating that she'll be the ace. And Sunset Shimmer probably gonna take that to heart as this encounter gets slightly more personal. But now we move on to our next matchup. And Calypso just said this was gonna be a comedy match? Dude, Calypso, you can't just say things like that. Um, well, I guess we have a comedy match? Um, we have Michael Money in this comedy match. Michael Money, of course, participating in the World Championship Tournament. He lost in the first round. Dang, if I can remember who he lost to. Yeah, honestly, I can't remember right now. But, yeah, he did lose in the first round. Kind of a shame. But, he's here now. Michael Money, of course, coming from Philadelphia. He's a rich man. And by rich, I mean, um, rich, I guess. And now, and now, whoa, whoa, what was that? What the heck? Uh... I legit have Sackle? Uh, I legit have nothing to say to this. He's wearing two socks with faces on his hands. His outfit looks rid- My god. He looks like he's from out of this world. Um, the music? What is this? Why is he acting so feminine? Oh my god. Time of pleasure? What is going on? Why is he wearing a bra? Can someone explain to me what's going on? And, and oh my god. Is this what Calypso meant? Are we supposed to laugh at this? Now just slapping Michael Money with his sock and another one, another! DJ Khaled up in here saying another one more times than I can count! Another one! And a slap and a huge slap by Sock one. I have a hard time taking this seriously! And more slaps! What on earth? And now Schoolboy, all his feet are on the ropes, never mind! Some sort of trick, I guess. Now Sockle's up top. Double axe handle, or double sock handle, and... Oh my god. He just shook his butt at... Dear Christ! This guy is more feminine? This guy is more feminine than anyone else I know! Now just slapping away at Michael Money and... Huge slap. Oh, God, no. If I know where this is going. Oh, no, no, stop it. Someone stop the feed. No, I can't watch. No, no. Sako, why? Calypso, why did you sign this guy? This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. 
But I guess that what makes it so brilliant? Um, Sako now grabbing Michael money and Sako now at- Oh no. Tapping to shore. What? Excuse me? EXCUSE ME?! D d uh, d did I just One, see- two, three. Did Sako's butt just knock out Michael Money? Um, Sako's butt, with a, with a flash, knocked out Michael Money. Oh, let's not forget that poodle that somehow disappeared. Early on, uh, my God, what is this? Uh, well, I guess let's just move on to our next match. Can we? Can we just stop? Can we just stop? One, two, three. I can't believe that just happened. Okay, let's try to move on from that. Man, that'd be hard to follow if this was a comedy show. And now we have women's tag action as our co-main event. Sonata Dusk and Aria Blaze, the Dazzlings. They take on... Aqua and Athena Sykes. Sana and Arya are definitely not on the same page at all. In fact, throughout throughout the past two episodes, Arya's technically Arya's been like neglectful of Sonata. Whenever Sonata hit Arya by mistake in episode one in a match against Tech Base Party, Arya just left. He just she just got off the apron and then left Sonata. And then, Arya left Sonata out, left to... Arya left Sonata out to dry again in episode 2, taking, as they tried taking on the Wario Brothers. And then, of course, that led to the whole Winkle thing. There's Arya Blaze. If there's one thing which I'm really questioning, it's Arya's tactics. I don't see Arya as this at all. In fact, I see her as arguably one of the best technical wrestlers we have. Arya, of course, coming from a Japanese promotion, and she is a former champion. She's a former women's champion in a very popular Japanese promotion, which also features names like Hatsune Miku. But Arya's not showing a lot of that. She's showing a lot of more of a dark side. And well, here comes Athena Sykes. She lost to Ayano Aishi in the second episode of MCWA Revived. That being the last episode before this. And then as Ayano tried to beat down Athena, Aqua came in. And as soon as Aqua just stepped in the ring, Ayano just stopped. She just left. And Ayano Aishi herself. Ayano Aishi, she hasn't said a word. She hasn't even been in MCWA arenas at all. Not even this arena. But Ayano Aishi will have to show up in Ubi Games too. As she takes on Aqua in a hardcore rules match. And speaking of Aqua, here's the Keyblade Master herself. The one before Sora, anyway. Well, I think. I hear Aqua's music. And there's Aqua herself. I don't know, I just kind of get this ominous feeling that. I swear, this feels way too ominous for Aqua. But... Well... It is a bit mellow. I guess Aqua doesn't like expanding her energy during an entrance? 
Aqua slowly making her way to the ring. And I swear, this is just really ominous. But, well, Aqua is going to be at New Beginnings 2. As she takes on Ayano Aishi in a Hardcore Rules match. Ayano Aishi probably watching this from afar. Ayano Aishi also had a bit of a destructive path prior to Aqua even showing up. In episode 1, she defeated Jasmine Sky in minutes. And after that... Ayano just beat Jasmine up. Eventually landed an Impaler DDT onto a steel chair. Athena even saying that Ayano doesn't feel any emotion. Anyway, this matchup is underway. Athena and Sonata in the ring. Athena get letting go of the headlock. And now an abdominal stretch. Arya breaking it up. And a super kick! Does Arya not trust Sonata enough? Wait, oh, roll through! Break! Too close to the ropes and Aqua. Aqua did not plan that out. I swear these two actually seem to be a bit more impulsive than in the previous tag team match. And oh! Athena now just prepping herself up, and there's the tag to Aqua! We're now gonna see Aqua in an MCWA ring for the first time in an actual match! There's a scoop slam on the Sonata! And now Aqua with the stomp! Simple yet effective! And an uppercut! And now Aqua! Irish whips Sonata into the ropes! Flapjack! Aqua in excellent control over this matchup! And now, oh wait, Sonata rolling through with the roll up. And Arya missed entirely. And accidentally clotheslined Sonata. Sonata's, Arya's like to go blame Sonata for that. Arya breaking up the camel clutch. She doesn't trust, she doesn't seem to trust Sonata enough. And that's a bit of a problem. If you can't trust your own partner, then how in the world can you expect- Oh! How in the world can you expect to win a match if you can't trust your own partner? You basically turn to a two-on-one-on-one. -on -one. And now, Aqua with a Boston Crab. Arya staying outside. And Arya again! Clothesline Aqua. And now, oh, Irish whip into the corner. Now going to tag in Athena. Well, there's our one. There's our two minutes of fame. There's a tag to Arya. This is the first time Arya's been tagged in this match. There's an armbar. Athena rolls Alvin. Aqua again. Aqua seems to be impulsive to come to the aid of those she trusts. Now Arya with some strikes. Brian the ropes. Huge clothesline. And now, Arya Blaze, huge stomp. Arya Blaze just stomping away, and now a camel clutch. And Aqua again breaks it up. Aqua's probably acting more out of impulse. Huge super kick by Arya, and a clothesline taking Aqua down. And now Arya, huge backbreaker onto Athena. And I think Arya's looking to end this here and now. Arya now looking for- No! Athena rolls through with an octopus stretch! And Arya gets out of it. And Sonata, I guess returning the favor. Irish whip into the ropes. Missed the drop kick. Arya Axel bumping Sonata. There's a super kick. There's attack to Sonata. That's making it official. And now punches to the gut. And good link. And Sonata. Sonata is more happy go lucky compared to most of the MCWA roster. So. Whoa! 
There's a roll up. Aria breaks it up. Oh, kick blocked. Whoa. Oh, huge snapmare takedown by Athena. Aqua supporting Athena through and through. Now Athena now. Punching away. Oh, accidentally punching Aqua. And accidentally drop kicking Aqua. Rookie mistakes. These are not the most experienced of wrestlers. But hey, Sana is happy. Athena's not exactly experienced in the ring. But that doesn't mean she doesn't have a lot of heart. And now. Drop kick. And now. Whoa. Athena trying to lock in a high angle Boston. I think she calls this the walls of widget. Sanaa doesn't tap. But coming close. Irish women to the ropes. And a flapjack. Sonata has to be weakened down considerably. There's the tag. Aqua's in now. Now Aqua. Back elbow shot. And now Aqua picking up Sonata. Spell Weaver. The Spell Weaver. And now Aqua just. Oh, back elbow. I think Aqua was predicting that Aria would be up. Didn't see her, so. Two, but that three. spell weaver just knocks Sonata clean out. And Aqua and Athena get the win. That's huge momentum going into New Begins 2 for Aqua. There's that spell weaver that knocks Sonata out cold. Aqua tried hitting one on to Arya, but she didn't get up. But when she got up, she got an elbow to the face. So I guess that's close enough. One, and that's two, what got the win for Aqua. Three, that spell weaver looks deadly if you ask me. And now Arya. Arya going to check on Sonata, making sure she's okay. Sonata getting back up at Wait a minute! Arya just striking Sonata! What the heck is going on? Admittedly, I should have seen this coming, considering the lack of trust that Arya's had in Sonata throughout these past several episodes. But I think it's just blown out of proportion. Just stomping away at a weakened Sonata. Sonata is unable to defend herself. Come on! Enough's enough! Oh! There's her tiger suplex! Her modified tiger suplex! And now, oh no! Another one! Aria Blaze! God, this is sickening! Aria Blaze just turned her back on Sonata! And just. This is just sickening! Does Arya show any remorse for what just happened? By the looks of things, probably not. But if she did show remorse, then my god, I know Sonata is sure not going to accept her apologies. Arya Blaze making her way to the back. Come on, this was just pathetic. I thought Arya had more honor than that. Just got Sonata out of the ring. And now we're about to get to our final part. The part that, honestly, we've been waiting for. We have Calypso making his way to the ring. 
Calypso is going to be the one to finalize the match between Ed and Simon Blackwell for the MCWA World Championship at New Begins 2. I think with all that said, I think we pretty much have New Begins 2 almost pretty much in under wrap with that matchup recently announced between Sanaa Dusk and Aria Blaze. Turns out that's going to happen. Then we have our Hardcore Rules match. Then we have this World Championship match. Hold on. Then we have Sunset Lucina. Hold on. Aren't we forgetting something? Uh, it must be my imagination, but I swear it feels like something's missing. And turns out we're gonna be announcing them simply. And here comes N. N's road to the MCWA World Championship has been a little bit longer than Simon's. N in the first two rounds, he beat Little Mac in the first and beat Cal Cyber in the second. Oh my God, so much is coming to me. That must be raining a bunch of smell. Oh yeah, Cal Cyber beat Michael Money in the first round of the MCWA World Championship Tournament. Well, that's a bit random to think about, but in the semifinals, and defeated Zero in the main event of Episode 1. And's definitely been fighting tooth and nail for this very prize. And now we're about to see Simon Blackwell. His road to the championship wasn't exactly as tedious. In the first round, he defeated Sonata Dusk in the first round in quick fashion, I may add. And then in the second round, he defeated Lincoln. Now he would have had a semifinals match against either Sunset Shimmer or Lucina, but that match went to a time limit draw. And so Simon Blackwell automatically was put into the finals. Although I guess his makeup, he did face Seijin in episode 2. So, now we have Blackwell and N in the ring. This was what I was regaining this whole time! 
I forgot they were set up to have a match in Ubi Games 2! Seijin now! These were just fighting it out! And crazy enough! I think Kuntos actually forgot to mention the match type for these two! We don't even know what they're fighting in! But these two are fighting now! Where is everybody? Where's security? During a big moment like this! Seijin and Kao Cyber just can't keep their hands off each other! Or their feet I guess- OH GOD! The referee just got clobbered in the mix! Why is there a referee here? It makes no sense! Oh! Sit out Pau Jar by Seijin! Moonsault! Seijin! No! Kao Cyber from behind! Russian leg sweep! And now stomping away! These two just can't be pulled apart! The referee's not even trying! God, that's scary! Think that the, your own referee is not even gonna try and stop this! And now- Oh, there's a drop kick by Seijin! And now Seijin now! Seijin- Oh, Kalsaira back up! Close line! And now- this referee's getting way too close to this fight! But then again, we don't have any security here! And this crowd is going raucous! And the dropkick, the referee is down again! Now, whoa! Oh, there's Justin Sane and Fabio Iglesias! And the two of them are... Wow! They were actually able to break up the two of them! That's a little surprising. Um, Calypso, Ed, and Simon are in the ring. They're staring at all this going down. Um, what do we say about this? They erupted an important moment that Justin and Fabiola tell them not to go at it. And... Man, this is awkward. Uh, what do we do in this case? Do we, do we continue making that match official or do we get security to pull Kyle and Seijin out of the building? Well, we're... That's what I... Whoa! I'm surprised that's actually in our budget! Kao Cyber and Seijin are going to fight inside a steel cage! No, whoa! They're actually taking out the two people! Now they're about to go back to blows! Uh, Kao just backing off! Oh, uh, what on earth? Now Justin and Fabiola back up. I think they're gonna be keeping close guard on this. Cal Cyber and Seijin in a steel cage. And now I think everything's finalized. I think we pretty much have New Begins 2 under wraps. And now we need our editing team to make that match card video. Well, I'm Miss Patrol 101. I'll see you guys in New Begins 2. Peace!